sorted list problem with the proper most optimized code Aryan, what is optimized code in this you will see now first let's read, read let's read the problem the problem says that you are given the heads of two sorted list list one and list two now which means i am given the head which means my two list it's just a link list it's pointing to the first element which is list one first element list two first element okay now we have to merge the two list into one sorted list so we have to merge these two list into a one sorted list and the list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two list so i should use the first two list and just splice them which means cut them cut them attach them oh which means one thing what the splicing together means is again the interviewer will just ask you can you please merge two sorted list now if you have read this problem but you have not watched this video so you will say Aryan, i'll simply i know it's sorted i'll simply use two pointers and apply merge and i'll say and simply merge them but there's a counter question which you should ask the interviewer so you want me to merge the existing list or you want me to make a new list and then you want the same merged data because in production environment in as a company let's say if i'm the interviewer so i'm thinking of in a company's perspective it is not always recommended to actually destroy the input if i will merge this two list in like i'll use the exact same nodes nodes and i'll merge them so you will see i made this specific list now the existence of the above two list is gone it's actually gone so it is entirely gone now you will say it's a good thing right we are actually not using space yeah it is true but you will have to ask and confirm from the interviewer that does he want the new list to be formed or he want the slicing of the old list in this problem it is saying that he wants to actually use the existing list itself now we have to re return the head of the merged list so you, you can see i'll simply return this head now simply you can see merge how the merge happen violet the purple see the purple color represents the exact same node it is a purple node one exact same node it's a one okay it's a one then a two then a two then a three then a three then a four then a four then a four then a four so it is now a sorted list now if the interviewer would have asked you can you please make another list then other like a new list you have to make then the basic obvious way is that one very brute force way which could have which you could say to an interviewer is i will copy this entire data into an array i copy this entire data into an array and then from there itself i can make a new array of this size and then i can convert this array which is the combined array i'll simply i'll simply combine both the arrays i have this specific array from the first list i have the next array from the next list i'll simply append the elements in this next list i know the appending never sorts it so i'll simply sort it down and then i can after sorting i can convert that to a link list okay this is one operation which is for sure taking a n log n time when i say n log n i actually mean n plus m log of n plus m time and this is a time and the space will be o of n plus m because you are actually converting that to a list now the next step which you can tell the interviewer again is just a glance 30 seconds just tell him that it is one possible option then next you will jump on okay i can actually see that uh, i don't need to actually sort this specific list so you are trying to improvise so what i will do is rather than sorting i know that these two vectors are already sorted so i can use two pointers now i will not be needing to sort the combined list okay that is one possible way and with this fact you will see time is still o of n plus m but space is also still o of n plus m because you made this list and you're converting to a list and then convert that to a combined list now this combined list is actually when building this list itself combined list while building the combined list itself you're actually sorting it by using two pointers okay we will see that clearly but right now it is one approach which you will tell the interviewer and then i'll convert back to a list now he will say that Aryan, considering that even if you if even if i ask you to make a new list even if i ask you to make a new link list please can you just avoid making this copy of the list so yeah that is one possible way that why i actually need to transform to an array i don't need that i'll simply use exact same 
list itself so i have this one list one i have the list two i know i can simply use two pointers and i can simply make the third list which is the final list how i will initialize my final list dummy node now rn why is the dummy node needed can't i simply start off with the smallest value from the list one or list two yeah that is true you can start off from the smallest value as the first node either from list one or list two you can start off with the head node itself but there's a caveat like you have to write an if condition like if my list one value is smaller list two and then you have to start iterating like and then like firstly you have to write the if conditions who will be the head and then when the head is decided then you will have to start iterating and do a for loop so it is that okay i will have to write an if else condition which is actually kind of big and like big thing like you have to write four lines of four which is unnecessary rather rather take a dummy node which is which will kind of acting as a head okay let's say see when i say a dummy node it is nothing but the first node's previous node it is a dummy node and everything will come after him so what will happen with this is that you in the very end you will just need to return one thing it is my dummy node i'll simply return dummies next because dummies next node is actually the actual head node okay great so what i will do is i'll simply know that okay this is my list one this is my list two i have to put next i have to put okay and and again the i have three pointers one pointer is list one which is pointing to the list one current element other point is list two which is pointing to the current element of list two and other point is temp which is pointing to the final list right okay now i need to push something after my temp but that something should be the smaller out of the two who is having smaller because again remember i want to have this as a sorted list so i will see okay whoever is smaller he will say bro um if one if the list one a value is smaller then you should please a stake and assign temps next to list one and then move your list one next but you will see here both are same so you can just do anything so you will just have a condition okay if your list one value is lesser than the list two value then it is always good that you should assign your temp next to the list one and then move your list one forward i'll assign my temps next to this specific list one and then i'll move my list one forward so now my list one will be pointing to a new element which is two list two is still pointing to one itself because i am precisely moving every element how i want and the same way else condition will go that else you can simply move your temps next to list two okay so with this fact you will see that uh, because of my both values are same so my list one will still remain here my temps next will point to list two because you will see i just pointed okay again you can also place a less than equal to condition also here that will also work but currently example which we have taken we have return like this which means list one value is less than list two only then you have to move to list one else you will move to list two so you will see i said that my temps you remembered my temps next will actually become my list two so and and my list two will move forward so my list two l2 will come here and l1 will be here itself so you will see that my temps next has become one node node one which is this specific node again i am not making copy anywhere again i if i want i can make a new copy i can just simply say that make a new node with this specific value of list one that i can do easily but right now let's say i don't want to make any new copy i can just simply point it to the specific list two element and then when it is pointed please move your point to list two so you will see that after we assign it we should actually move or move our list one or list two also correspondingly okay when this thing is done now i'll simply i have to again i have to build the entire list so repeat the same process list one list two who's are small i'll see okay my list one is small one is small so simply temps next will point to list one and list one will move forward list one will come here so it will look something like that one one and my list one is pointing here now now again list one list two who's are smaller okay list one is smaller so temps next will point to list one and then again list one will will move forward again you will see i have pointed list 1 list 2 for sure list 2 is less so temps next will point to list 2 and then list 2 move forward list 1 list 2 both are same but still if you remember i have condition if a uh, list 1 value is less than list 2 then you go to list 1 else you go to list 2 so with that condition i'll have i will be going to list 2 but yeah you can also go to list 1 also it's a completely okay and then he will go next so he will be actually out when something is out then for sure whatsoever is remaining in the other list you should just point to that 
so you will see that whatsoever was remaining again it can be a big list also it can be a big list but if anything goes null then i can simply attach any other list i can simply attach i don't want to i don't have to go to every other element again and again that's not a card simply attach this list to your temps next so to attach this list i'll just say if i have list one then simply say temps next is list one temps next is list one again this portion will only come out when any of the list one or list two has become null so if if any of them has become null so whosoever is not null that i can simply attach and the same way if let's say list one would have become null but not list two so i can simply attach my temps next to a list two and this is the only thing we have to do but make sure the problem is easy, easy but to discuss every approach in an interview now coming on the code it's pretty simple firstly we have a dummy node this is the dummy node which is the actual dummy head because dummies next node is actually the starting node for us so you will see that i will actually return my dummies next as the final or the new head and you remember temp is moving final list final list i'm iterating via temp and dummy node i am initializing so i have to initialize my dummy node also with some value so i just initialize my dummy node you can just do on um, you can initialize with any value whatsoever you want so yeah and then simply i will go on and initialize my temp it should point to my dummy node now i will simply say while my list one and list two both are not null then i again this says when both are not null when both are not null then you can you will just compare the values if list one value is less than the list two then it's good to move to list one so i'll say my temps next will be list one and move my list one forward move my list one forward else okay my list two is less so put my temps next to list two and then i move my list two forward now when i have at, when i have attached on to my either list one or list two then okay i have attached now move my temp because temp is the final list iterator so i'll move my temp accordingly okay when this entire portion is done you will see that he, i will get out of this when either both are null or any one of them are null so i'll get out i'll just have a check oh when someone is someone has become null whosoever is not a null okay if list one is there assign your temp next to list one or again both of them will never happen both of them will never happen because if both of them were actually not null then he would have he would be complete here itself so if he is getting out of this while loop which means one of them or both of them is null one of them or both of them is null both of them will not be not null remember that fact cool so if list one is there then simply assign temps next to list one else assign like if list two is there not else if list two is there assign temps next to list two and then ultimately i can simply re return my dummies next and with this you will see that you are using your o of n percent time because n for the list one m for the list two there is no extra space used because you are not using or making any new array again if the interviewer would have asked you can you place can you please make a new node for every corresponding node then still the space would have been o of one only because this is the requirement of the output so extra space used will be still o of one cool so this is you have to confirm from the interviewer and that is what we learn what we learned in this specific problem cool thank you for watching bye bye